<laughs> the worst boss I've peed, but our working theory is, is the fucking lazy cunt is sleeping somewhere. <laughs> Probably in a ditch. Hopefully in a fucking ditch face or down. Or a crack house. Or a crack yeah, house. Maybe a ditch is no excuse otherwise. Yeah. You've, oh, yeah, I hope he's in trouble. That's not really rude. <laughs> <laughs> we're a, for, we're a for, forgiving bunch of the old school goes. This evening, or whenever you're listening to this, you can make it up. We are talking about festivals, which is kind of a sweet subject for us because, well, they're all, they're I, all I, festival, I, isn't it? yeah, and that's kind of where a lot of us first met, excluding Richard. Yeah, excluding me. <laughs> So do you guys remember when we first met? Because I fucking can't for the life of me. Oh, 2016. Was it 2016, was it? That was my first one, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. I know I met you in 2017. 2017. Uh, download. I, I met Scott then next year, 2018. It is download yeah. we're talking about when we're just yeah, referring download. to years. Meeting up on Dive yeah. Fun Bus. Best type of the world. It's the, it's, it? the only, it's the only one that makes fucking sense, man. It's the only festival that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, children screaming. <laughs> Aye, that's my fucking kid. Sorry, I get two seconds if we go and sort them out in a minute. No worries, but That was like the mandrake of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> he's, putting the, he's putting the gloves on now. <laughs> into the pot into the pot <laughs> I like how he mutes his mic now or it would have just been like ha- ham slapping noises in the background <laughs> ham slapping <laughs> dear fuck I don't know they keep getting out the fucking basement man he's killing me <laughs> <laughs> shorter chains man shorter chains get a better padlock yeah. <laughs> or an axle in the middle of two of them, like the, the first saw. <laughs> <laughs> first one out could have an extra hour before bedtime. <laughs> 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 and then eating and it'd stitch you back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you know. So, yeah, we first met at festivals. Yeah, Festival- I think it was 2000, 2016 was the first year that I'd gone to any festival. Mm. I'd gone to like I'd gone to like smaller gigs and stuff, but that was my first festival experience. Oh, and uh, it's a game changer. I remember, I, I remember that um, getting on my bus in Ferndale. <laughs> I'm thinking I know about fucking three people on this bus, and <laughs> I don't even know them well. <laughs> it's like only Nikki that I really knew really well on the bus, and I felt sort of uncomfortable <laughs> till we got we pulled in in Ponty. And I just seen this fucking fuzzy egg on the bus in a leather jacket. And I thought, oh, the fuck are they laying on this bus now when you came up? And you were like, all right, lads, welcome to the group. And that was it. That was it for the fucking rest again. At least, at least I did a proper introduction. All right, lads. Oh, you were, fi- you were fucking steaming before you got on a bus, man. That's great. Was I? That's I, I didn't was get like an I, I, I think did. it was like quarter past nine in the morning as well. <laughs> Stars me to go on. Fuck yeah. Doing it's that like for five days. Early. Early. It, was, right. it was quite early and he just got on the bus. He was like, I was fucking going, lads. Welcome to the party. <laughs> then that was the introduction. <laughs> I'm a showman. And I then he was like, hmm. <laughs> just fucking in my hand and he's like where you go there oh, <laughs> can we fucking do a bit of foreplay before we talk about things that my mother's going to be really upset about <laughs> oh you were asking about my drink I had a bottle of Jack Daniels in my hand fucking of course I had a did. bottle of Jack Ooh. Daniels in my hand at that time I, yeah. Yeah. bottle of spicy water <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> some of those nose beers <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> some of those fat snow beers Oh, fuck hell. <laughs> Tell us about your first festival then, Richard. Hey, well, I've never attended one as a fan. <laughs> I've only ever worked them. That's miserable, that is, but... <laughs> yeah, it is, man, because by the time, usually by the time we got there, all the water had been turned off. The power. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck no. <laughs> there <was laughs> flies around the food. Mm. Grim. <laughs> no, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> Gentlemen, you, got, you, you haven't lived until you've done that. The crew's never let me fucking work any festivals. No? They had me doing the local shit, but no, they never put me on a festival, the bastards. 
No, oh, just as well, man. You get paid the exact same. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> paid the exact same for doing triple the fucking work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's awesome, oh, man. Genuine. I, I, some of the best working experience I've ever had has been working in the festivals. <laughs> Got any stories, then? Oh, I've got loads of them. Do you want to grace us with one? No, no, of course I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, tr- thing is, you can't tell a story without embellishing a little, can you? Fucking, Skitty, no one's going to fucking, like, do any fact research. Check. Come on, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a Facebook fact check. Yeah, like. fucking embellish the fuck, man. Nah, like, I won't embellish too much, man. No, embellish too much. Don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Look, boys, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to buy some time here so I can think of a story, <laughs> and you're just <laughs> shutting me down. Like. <laughs> do, you me, do, you me, do you want me start then? And then you Go can on, just... boys, you start. Fucking useless. I know. It's like, it's like this is a voluntary position or something. <laughs> 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 well, when I first went to festivals, I did what everyone did and just showed up completely unprepared, 100% unprepared. <laughs> I think my first year, 2012 downloads, I showed up in a one skin tent. Um, oh. I didn't have a pillow. So oh. I thought, so instead of like, oh, fuck. And I didn't put any of my clothes in like plastic bags inside my backpack. So when it pissed down rain, when we were on the queue to get in, all my clothes were soaking. I was in a little one room, one skin tent. Fucking one year, what it was? It was one year. I forgot my sleeping bag. It was bloodstock. It was uh, my second bloodstock. I'd forgotten my sleeping bag, and it's just like this is fucking trash. <laughs> All the shops <laughs> had closed. It's August, so it's the end of summer, and it was about the mega death. <laughs> it was about two or three a.m. And I was like, right, I need to go back to my tent now because I'm fucking cold. It's time to get a couple hours sleep before the next day. Climb into the tent. I was like, I don't have a fucking sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> so I slam my legs into my backpack that comes up <laughs> just over my knees. <laughs> and Cover then, yourself in wet coats. And yeah, Aww. pretty much. Throw my leather jacket Aww. over me. And then just oh. aggressively shiver. It's like this sucks. <laughs> we could, um one of my friends at the time. We just kind of started a fling together, which turned into a four-year relationship. But it was back when we were just uh, testing the waters. She's knocking about outside. I'm like, so yeah. So like, can I come sleep with you? It's like, come on, Dale, I'm a bit attacked. It's like, no, I'm freezing to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of time. Yeah. like that Irish guy in the snow. <laughs> oh, we'll be long getting frostbitten. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you outside fucking Mountain Ash train station, but with a broken ankle. I can't believe it, but they didn't need a snuff from existence. Can you imagine the way to go? Imagine freezing to death in a Western nation. It doesn't happen. Well, well, yeah, freezing, freezing you know. to death in a tent. Yeah. So I slid into her tent and she had a fucking blow up bed as well. So, oh my God. Oh, my God fucking stripped off i was like i need to get him off or fucking hypothermia will set in we need body heat can i get you know not my knickers like (laughs) (laughs) i need that very tactful very tactful let me climb inside you like a (laughs) tauntaun nice it'd be warm and wet and cold and wet (laughs) (laughs) but it's like three-day festival fanny and i thought they smelled bad on the outside Uh. Ah. Oh. Ah. I'm glad grim. <laughs> Again, that's one for you Star Wars slash vagina fans out there. Well, st- <laughs> yeah, how many Star Wars fans get much fanny, do they? <laughs> oh, I just about to say the same. Just a tad more than a Star Trek fan. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> just a pinch more. At least it's legal in like the Star Trek fans, though, right? Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just want to say, not all Star Trek fans are pedophiles. The majority. majority No, she's fucking. She's twenty-eight in Klingon years. I swear. 
Oh, bro. No, this is not a three-year-old. This is not a drone of a three-year-old. It's a 9,000-year-old dragon kid. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, wow. It'll come sooner than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> No, fucking... Oh, I used to sleep in abject poverty in festivals to begin with. It was fucking horrendous. Not much different from Mount, though, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's more music. <laughs> One skin tent. You know what? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Spoon's bodyguard. Mm. Don't talk to him now or people will be going to Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this, this big fucker looks like Lurch with long hair. <laughs> Fucking, what is it? What was it? Ah, so a power move I made. Well, I can't remember what year it was for Download Festival, but I bought myself a ticket and I bought my girlfriend at the time a ticket. Um, we got into an argument and she was like, oh, fuck you. You can go fuck yourself. You can fuck this little thing you bought me. I bought her a gift. And you can take those Download tickets and stick them up your ass. <laughs> So go okay then. Hang up on her. Phoned up Isaac. He's like, do you want to come download? He's like, yeah, go on. I can't afford it. And I was like, you can have Jess's ticket because she just told me to stick it up my ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you've got to pull it out first. You've got to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to pull it out with your mouth first. Oh, you've got to felch it out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it smell like world. festival fanny. Ooh. <laughs> but just shittier. She phoned, so me, she phoned me. She phoned me. Disco minge. <laughs> <laughs> she phoned me back a couple hours later, like, I'm sorry. Can I still come download with you? And I was like, no. no. I gave your ticket to Isaac. So, that fucking. <laughs> you, want him, you could fucking pig on fight him to the death. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're on the phone, you give my two grand back, bitch. Uh, different girlfriend, but yeah. <laughs> different girlfriend, same amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> they say you can't buy love. You can. You can buy love. <laughs> Two grand is the price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or some slut masquerading as love. <laughs> oh, that's real love, man. Yeah, it's real. It's real fucking pain in the end. <laughs> <laughs> sure felt real. <laughs> Headed to have left the last two grand. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck it out. Anyway, he couldn't afford a tent, so he slept with me in that fucking one skin tent, just that little one room. They say it's a fucking three-man tent. There's like one and a half men can fit in there. And Isaac's one and a half men on his own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I quickly learned to just stay out all night. And that's where that habit fucking started of just... Uh, <laughs> ghoulin. Ghoulin. <laughs> that's where yeah. the ghoulin began. <laughs> Shit, that is where ghoulin began. At fucking Download Festival. To be fair, I do think it was Yayan. That came up with the phrase ghoulin. <laughs> was it Yayan White then, yeah? I think it was Yayan Wild in. What's his address? Let's totally dox him. <laughs> I was like someone who'd live in Paul's or something. No, oh, he's a Ferndale boy. He's in Marsh Five, he's living in Ferndale. <laughs> <laughs> wow, move two minutes away. That's crazy, right? <laughs> <bro. laughs> what, what, what a fucking yeah, you drive father. you drive into Fer you drive into Ferndale. You get to turn right, you turn right again, and you're literally outside his house. Oh, you can't listening. just give I the instructions. <laughs> I can't believe you just talked to him and just said his name and then told him how to get to his house. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like, I, I know where he works as well, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he works in. Oh, you yeah. fucking arsehole! <laughs> AW2064 97F. That's his NI number, right, guys? His kids go to school at Paul's Primary. <laughs> They're in years four and six. Yeah, the eldest is doing yeah, quite shit kids. in English. He hasn't got kids. I know. It's called a joke, Scott. But... You haven't got kids. They're just the ones he kidnapped. No. Because we don't know what Yeah, Jan's like. He did. You know what it is? Just because he likes bed in Yeah, Jan's went. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's a fucking trackie. He is 100% trackie. I'm going to start calling people trackie now. Well, you know what they say? If you're a trackie, it's kids for brackie. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh my god, man! Absolutely, love, absolutely loves a good uh, sparking. <laughs> <laughs> he did coin the phrase though. Let's go to fucking disabled camp and pick up some strays. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Oh my ironic! I'm oh, waiting for episode to go out and ruin our lives. I know. It's not our lives, I see again. Yeah, exactly. You were going to turn right by Greg. Love's unsolicited as it is. No. Doesn't leave his back door locked. He's gonna... <laughs> I was going to say something really bad there, but take this out. He's got a rape fantasy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Safe words, Rumble Steel Skin. <laughs> He'll fight. He'll fight with all his life, but that's just show you he's enjoying it. He's getting into character. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! Pull up outside his house in a fucking wheelchair. I heard you like fucking dumb girls. (laughs) Fucking hell! Pull up in a wheelchair. Well, we got our own little fucking mini festival this weekend coming, haven't we, when we go camping? Oh, yes. And I am fucking pissed pants excited for it as well. Yeah, so is Nicky. He was best me fucking earlier telling me he was excited. <laughs> oh, man. We, we've been, like, chatting and, like, fucking stupid o'clock in the morning when we've been working away. Now we're just laying in, laying in bed, like, opposite beds from each other. And he just off, up in bed, he got... Yeah, he's like laying on the bed, bed. Definitely weren't having sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, top, top and tail towing each other's ass, you know. Come on, when you're having his you were just bombing, you were power bombing. Bombing. What was he saying? What was he shooting up in bed and saying this? Oh, just fuck me, Scott. Break his head. No, no, shoot, shooting the heroin he was. He was just shooting the heroin, and not Oh, you can't see one. Nah, he just shoot that. He shoot that, but he got a gap. Shall we get in the KO or what? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm not sure if I, not sure if I want to do one like in the in the middle of a forestry. Yeah. He's like, ah, it'd be good. Let's do it. It'd be good. Get in the KO and count how many stars there are in the sky. I was like, nah. Yeah. I don't sound like he's, 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 he's counting. He's like 37, 38. He's like, Nick, you're in a van, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you're just counting the fucking bonnet on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to ask the, fuck, the fucking rust stores. It's kind of a beautiful thing, but you and Nikki, the romance between you and Nikki, last download we were at, you had like an eight room tent, one that was exclusively yeah. used as a toilet, and you were still sharing a bed. Yeah, because that was my double bed, for starters, not his, that was my double bed, and that was the only room that didn't have a leak in it. <laughs> I don't know, man. You, Every... you, pick can, you have to pick your cans up and spit the fucking water out of them before you could drink. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good tent, though. So that was a good tent. Uh, if I could have got that waterproofed and everything, I would have brought it back with us. Because it was a fucking beast of a tent. But the chances are, are of you fixing all the fucking holes in it. Yeah. You know, it was slim to at, at the end of the fucking festival, it was like a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was fucking, oh, it was so big and roomy. Yeah, we had, we had like, what, 15 people at one point, didn't we? You know, next year for down the shall we all, like, yeah. invest in sharing one big tent? I, I don't see why not, because we won't spend most of the time in each other's tents anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, escaping the fucking I think, constant I think we should just all... rain. Yeah, well, that tent is, I think it's like 400 quid brand new to buy. But like yeah. I said, it's between eight people because it's an eight-man tent. Yeah. If you dedicate one as a toilet, because that's our, that's our big mistake. When we went to download 2016 is we didn't know what we were throwing ourselves in for with these fucking toilets, man. Yeah. I love a good fair. And that was, was the one, that was the Time one. Hell. That was the one thing that came back for me, but hey, I came back and I was like, I ain't going again without taking a fucking toilet with me. <laughs> you got traumatised, though. So we got these... Oh, yeah, man. I think he never told you what happened, did he? No. 
<laughs> the first day of night, I jumped on the seat to pop a squat, and I fucking my feet split, and, <laughs> and I fucking went and passed down in a fucking big pile of shit. <laughs> oh, Someone else's oh. feces, like. <laughs> oh, god. oh my god! How did you get like tuberculosis or that? I, <laughs> oh, I had my shots before I went. No, no. <laughs> I'd kill, I'd kill myself. But I was like, literally from I'd... waist to like halfway up my back with somebody else's shit. Like. Ah, that's oh, amazing. Man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's it was best. fucking grim. It's yeah, fucking that that is the only food. reason that I paid, I paid for those showers. Yeah. Yeah. I those never. Sh- in I would, 20, 2016, I paid for the showers and I, that was the only reason that I paid for them. Yeah. Um, then going back and. Uh, 2018, I think it was. Yeah, we took a big enough te- tent to have a toilet in it. We bought solar fucking showers, so we could actually shower just outside the tent. Like you fucking these you bags are absolutely fucking dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> I ne- like I never used to bother showering at festivals. I'd give myself a good old once over with a wet wipe, give myself a good old yeah. ball shower, really get in there, fucking and that was it for me until fucking metal days. Um in Slovenia, gorgeous, gorgeous weather. And they've got these communal showers where it's just like a big outdoor fucking like in a fucking gym, like all shower heads just outside. And my message was like, should, should we go have a communal shower? I was like, okay. Get in there. And I'm like, oh my God, I can just look at boobies while I shower. This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> so I was Living there. Dream. I was there in my little shorts. Fucking, I was like, I have worked up enough of a fucking chub now to release the beast. Like, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> release the beast. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I released the Sammy, and I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> unleash the Kraken." Check that out, girls. <laughs> <laughs> so that was good. This blonde guy named Sven next to you with a fucking nine-inch softy, like, <laughs> hey, like I, ah. I, I was happy enough with my chub at that point. But then it was getting to the point where it's, it's starting to raise. And it's just like, all right, that looks like an erect. Uh... <laughs> There's a fine line in there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> when it's starting to salute the sun, like, it's like, okay. <laughs> you cock it into a Nazi. That's too much. <laughs> 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 so I... Oh, man. So I quickly uh, slung, slung my shorts back on then. I was like, I'm doing that every morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is like reasonable for me to expose myself now. My dream. <laughs> I dream I can shower and look at boobies all the time. <laughs> yeah, you can do that anyway. anyway. No, I can. Just look at the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Skit. I was feeling quite good about myself today. <laughs> I don't know about Liam and me. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I'm the only. I got an L between this, but don't worry about it. Mm. Oh, I love a penis. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nice little uh, E cups going on now, Dylan. No. Well, I'm kind of worried that they're still there. Like, I've lost a fair amount of weight, but I'm not sure proportionally if I've lost enough tit. So, Gainy, so bro. That's, get that's the, the last. Doctor. That's what? the last. Thing, that's the last thing it comes from. Is it? So I'll lose my gut completely. I want to lose that fucking. What's it? The mons pubis area, so I can unlock an extra couple of your inches mo- of cock. <laughs> your mons pubis, your fucking tits, and your love handles are the last place it comes off. And you can work as hard as you want, man. It's all day at that lot. Like this mm. Mm. fucking exciting. <laughs> can't, can't wait. I look forward to it. But at least till then, I've said that. Either that or growth hormone. <laughs> oh, done. I'm fucking busting on. I, I genuinely want to do a cycle of roids, but. Uh, it's not the roids, man. It's the growth hormone you want to do. Okay. I genuinely, hands down, put an inch and a half on my dick with fucking growth hormone. <laughs> <laughs> no way. You should have been. I fucking swear down. I swear no down. Way. Right, this is not me getting dick pics out of you, but have you got before and after? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, tell, no, I tell you what, for research purposes, 
would you like me to go on a six month uh, cycle and I will do it and I will prove to you that it will put an end to the next one. Do it, bro. What? What? If you start <laughs> taking them, you just you lose it. You lose your gains. But yeah, it's just the same as any other thing. It's, it, you don't get to keep unless you're like, you could like lower your dosage and just have like a, a small every other day dosage that would like sort of keep you in that sort of peak. But as soon as you stop taking them and you don't do, take any like PCT post psychotherapy or anything like that, you, you will lose it. Fuck. And it doesn't help you fucking, I put on fucking three stones since I come off them as well, so. Fuck, you know. Can you get us? Ah, oh, I will do. Oh, it. Can we just I'll... become like the big dick gang? Like, yeah. I'll... <laughs> Sick of being average you. dick boys. Yeah, I'm a big dick. Well, you know, <laughs> as you start, do you know, as you start losing weight at yeah. first, you lock down your dick, and you're like, I've definitely got an extra inch for that. Yeah. <laughs> and I know, you, I know it happens because when I first started training, I went from like twenty odd stone, twenty stone. <laughs> down to 16 and literally no time and I was like you know what I can see my dick it's, it's, it's a special moment like oh, and then yeah, obviously I started on reason. steroids steroids and stuff like that and nothing if anything that shrunk my balls man well, yeah but that'll that'll make you dick look bigger who gives a fuck about bro? balls like yeah it'll make you dick look balls. balls yeah they'll suck on but they hate them well I've done that <laughs> less to shave i done but... that and then I thought Let's try. Let's try growth hormone. Growth hormone made me go fucking literally best shape of my life, and I couldn't have sex with my partner because she said I was sitting in the back wall. <laughs> and she was like, "I can't have sex with her." She's like, "No, no position is comfortable. I can't have sex with it." That's the fucking dream. Oh my uh, god! Like, no, is like, HGH the fucking? Not to brag, like I do that anyway. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have to do all sorts of fucking positions. Oh yeah, it's all like limb positioning and all that. Yeah, right? it's like a fucking Odini. Right, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to just put a pillow under your lower back, pull your knees up to your chest, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna do a running start. But I am hitting that fucking back wall. <laughs> Stuff. Oh, God. Oh, man, I, I put on quite a bit of weight, boys. I realised as I got my laptop on my lap, I'm moving my cursor around when I breathe, my belly's on the touchpad. <laughs> <laughs> so my head, I keep catching my eye more. What the fuck's that? Is that an ant? <laughs> no, it's my mouse cursor. <laughs> Get on the ho- growth hormone with us. Yeah, should we ride up? Oh, Get fuck in. yeah, boys. Fuck the festivals. <laughs> this is the void episode. This is the games episode. Fuck, boys, right? This is our first project. We've got to start pinning, right? Well, yeah, by <laughs> this, well, no, this time, by festival time next year, fuck, fuck old school ghouls, old school games, but Fuck this podcast, <laughs> boys. Let's go to the gym. Let's go. Yeah, fuck the... Yeah, fuck it. Fuck the listeners. Let's fuck. sell all this gear off second hand and just get, like, loads of fucking gear. Let's just exchange gear. For gear. <laughs> just go yeah. to South Wales Gear Exchange and everyone's like, oh, fuck <laughs> your cars and like, No, 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 you don't understand. I'm going to look up the fucking... Risks of fucking growth hormone. <laughs> I can already tell you. I work in a plastic mine. I've already knocked it. <laughs> plastic <laughs> mine. <laughs> you will have to do one festival at least in your life, Skip, man. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, man. Really yeah. Cool, like I said, man, I've worked them. I've, I've, I've enjoyed them when I worked them. Yeah, but um, it's totally... I'm a different person at festivals. A hundred percent different person. Like... I say to people, you don't know me until you've spent five days with me in a field. It's fucking wild. Yeah. <laughs> it's special, like. It is. It's something powerful. Oh, we got our little fucking festival in November as well. That's going to be a, a good one. That'll be a good one to start to, Skit, to be honest with you. Well, Skit's not coming to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, what is it? The shitty cover bands? No, they're real bands. <laughs> no, no. I mean, cover bands are real bands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they do play their instruments. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, no, the one in November now in the caravan. Oh, oh I forget, man. I, I know vaguely. No. I, I know vaguely. Legit bands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, the audacity of cover bands does my fucking head in. Yeah. I was, the audacity I was a of band. cover bands. <laughs> well, the arrogance they got. They make fucking yeah, true, better money than lots of bands. Yeah, but who gives a fuck, man? There's not even <laughs> struggle. They sell out. We played with a very famous Doom cover band, right? I won't name them. 
Okay. No, I will. Fuck you guys, children of the gravy, right? They they have a... <laughs> who do they cover? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I'm not going to draw. No, they, they cover Black Sabbath, obviously. <laughs> and they fucking drum her. It's a tiny stage. He brought his drums. Yeah. Scaffolded drums. Fuck it Way too much fucking room. And he wouldn't let our drummer play on the drums. Fuck like, it out. and all that. I was like, well, you're just a fucking nonce. <laughs> Good it's, it's one that I've always found funny as well. Is um, there's a guy I know that's in a motor red cover band, and are they called something like Motorhead? Because that's like what people yeah. just drop them in it. Um, they're not a bad band at all. They're not bad guys, mm. but just he dresses up like him as well, and he's got like Lemmy's facial hair and that. Does he put on like a? Plasticine mole or something. <laughs> or cyst, whatever. I'm, sh- I'm sure that'll be the next step, to be honest. <laughs> no, I know what I mean with stuff like that. I've seen a Metallica cover band. Like, there was, um, I think it was Metallica Reloaded or something. Okay. Um, the guy who's singing, he was like, doing like the proper Hetfield stance. Like, oh, my like, God. Arching his back and destroying his posture. <laughs> uh, he had like, the, you know, like, the goatee going on, like the early 90s goatee. Plus, oh, there's being in... <laughs> it was like the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I, was, I was looking at it like, why are you going that far? <laughs> yeah. You're a cover band, mate. Stop it. <laughs> it was a Pantera cover band knocking about years ago, and I can't remember what they were called, but we used to call them Panterable. <laughs> anyway, so upstairs to shoot them. Oh yeah, shoot them on stage. Oh, they reenact that oh, every night. Oh. This is South Wales Police. <laughs> 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 All right, so side effects of human growth hormone, carpal tunnel syndrome. Well, the bad. Yeah, well, I play WoW, man, so I got to go there. That's okay. Okay, so increased insulin resistance. Don't know what that is, but I'm cool with it. Uh, so <laughs> you want to resist stuff anyway? You want to be a hard motherfucker? So yeah, yeah. It's, it's resistance training, isn't it? Yeah. Resisting insulin. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Risk of type 2 diabetes. I'm a fat guy anyway. I'm at risk of that anyway. That's, that's, a, fat that's a big diabetes. risk, that is. And it's not just diabetes. It's enlarged heart as well. Oh, Chris. You, well you want, yeah, it's gains, man. Do you I know got, what I mean? Gains, yeah. gains, gains on the heart, yeah. yeah I've got, we're going to fucking blood pump it, bro. I've got a lot of love to give anyway. <laughs> I'm, a guy with, I'm a guy with a big heart. <laughs> i got a big heart and a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> and a, quite, not such a big lifespan. <laughs> so let's get fucking <laughs> oh. a big heart and a big dick but I'm, I'm only 20 years <laughs> right swelling in the arms and legs is well, that's that what you're going to the gym for yeah. so <laughs> that's, what that's, the fuck? that's what we want is swelling of the arms and legs <laughs> get get pump, oh, bro. jointed muscle pain doms I didn't get any of that no <laughs> none of that if anything, it helped, it helped me recover quicker. Fuck it all. I, I'm getting on the HGH, but for men, enlargement of breast tissue. Mm, I've already got man tits. Guy, no, never happened to me. That was, that was literally from um, abusing the steroids more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. No. Do you do them at the same time? No, I done the I done cycle of roids in 2014. Mm. Till 2016, I like sort of cycled on and off. Um, got in half decent shape, and then I thought I need to try something different. And then I went from 2017 to 2019, I think. Oh, so in the time I knew you, you were on HGH, yeah. On HGH, yeah. That's why I always have a dick out. (laughs) 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 That is the only reason. This boy's three inches on a softie. You wish you had this. <laughs> <laughs> you will never get show, this. Have a show. You will never get this. <laughs> you have a show on our grower. Seen as well. Same, but don't worry. Can you imagine <laughs> fucking? Oh, when we got Ibiza, that Ibiza festival next year. Can you imagine all of us ripped the fuck? How dangerous we'd be. <laughs> well, the other side. Well, not even that. Just get, just get into a. Into where you're comfortable with your body. The thing is, I'm always and aggr- you know having having a fucking six inch penis on the soft as well. It, everyone being speedos. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Oh, I don't even want to be comfortable with my body. I just want to reach a state of like apathy. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I want to actively still detest my body, but be able to beat anyone up that makes fun of me. <laughs> what do you mean I'm huge and small, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I lost a foot. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> and then uh, the final <laughs> risk is increased risk of certain cancers, but everything gives you cancer. Well, like I said, yeah, man, I work in a yeah. plastic mine next to bat open barrels that does say that it gives you cancer. So <laughs> Fucking hell, man. You need to get out of there as soon as you can. <laughs> No, oh, man, I just got a contract there. I don't get Nothing it. safe, you just don't fucking drink. Oh, I, thought, I thought you said you were going to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I have to redact about 50% of the stuff Skiddy Skit says. I know, man. I don't, I can't, you can't do it with the dog, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't going to come out for like 10 weeks, and they're not going to listen to the podcast. I'm putting it in, Skid. Yeah, true. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Friend, have you managed to come up with any stories of... Yeah, man, like, like, instantly, before you stole my thunder away, you were like, but I'm going to tell you my story. You cheeky cat, man! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, man. So, one of the first festivals I ever did... I uh, thought of a story, which is fucking... I'm just kidding. (laughs) Well, go on. (laughs) No, don't fuck it. I've got all shy. (laughs) Yeah, so... Have you ever been to a Christian festival, guys? No. No, no, me well, neither, but I've worked. You knew that, that was a thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. They fucking nice, clean. Oh. So, Sounds like hell. We should, we, should go and, we should go and protest them. We should go protest more Christian festivals, because the Westboro Baptists... Did someone just fart? <laughs> <laughs> Dirty cunts. Um... The Westboro Baptist Church uh, protested bloodstock, didn't they? So we should go out uh, do a little demonstration outside Christian festivals. Do they? Yeah. People do that anyway. It's kind of corny. Oh, yeah, it is cringy as fuck, right? Like. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so my, my, my festival experience with this particular festival, it starts off like all stories like this do. I got picked up in a old car by a woman who's done so much cocaine that her nose has fallen through. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Have you heard stories doing, of her? She was doing about 160. Oh, fucking hell. Telling me something about Zimbabwe, how it was called. Is it Mozambique? <laughs> is that too separate? <laughs> Regardless, right? She was just going on some rant about that. And I was like, oh, yeah, cool. I'm just going to fucking die. And this is the last thing I'm going to hear. <laughs> Look at how you fucking weird frog nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. What a great hand, like. What a great hand I've been dealt in life. <laughs> so, yeah, we got there. And, like, when you work away, you usually get money. You either get catering or you get money. But this fucking Christian fest, we're already closed down. It was a ghost town, okay? So we're there uh-huh. just to take down uh, the tents, like these big safari tents and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we got a £20 a day food allowance. We did what everyone else, could, you know, any sensible person would do. Uh, we just bought bread and cheese and pocketed the rest of the money and just decided to live on uh, a gulag diet, basically. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, man. The fashion was fucking... It, it looked really good, though. So we got there. Uh, it turns out... I, I'm going to have to Google what these fucking things are called. They, like, fold away... Fold away um, dorm rooms. Okay. Oh, man, they were, like, engineering marvels, man. And the company who first designed them, the lead engineer was there, because there was only, like, three of them working there. Okay. Well, oh, fuck. So you were staying in these fold-away dorm rooms, Rio? Yeah, yeah, we got to stay in them. Uh, I would live in constant fear that it would start folding away and crush me like the Terminator from Terminator 1. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just become a liquid inside this fucking thing that people would forget about until they unfolded it, and there I am, just painting the walls, like... Oh, they were safe until you were taking them down. So this lead engineer who I said they're like engineering marvels. No, he's fucking terrible. In that regard, everything else was great, but like all great people, he was flawed. Hmm. And this floor came in. As you're taking them down, they kind of like fold in on themselves. Yeah. So the, the walls pull in to one wall. The wall pulls into the other wall. So like I, I'm terrible at describing stuff. <laughs> it's like booby trap from Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, kind of looked. Oh fuck! I got the perfect analogy, guys. Be prepared to be impressed. You know, like dog cages. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They come down like That's... that. Okay. It's what Scott keeps his kids in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, the last wall to collapse. So you got to put your fingers in it and press like something through. Okay. 
Nah, that's not ready. Sounds dodge. <laughs> the guys you were with, like two of them already tried it. They did one, nearly lost their fingers. Fucking <laughs> hell. Oh and none of us were doing this at this edge of the year, starting to lose this fucking mind. He was like, it is like, I'm, I'm going to butcher the Dutch accent now. He's like, look, it's safe. It's safe. You just got to push it and pull your finger out really quick. <laughs> <laughs> like oh yeah fuck yeah that's great health and safety pal just pull it um, out really fast you lose two fingers for minimum wage like fuck you <laughs> but Should no that crew I often think about that job because it was a big old graft boys um, it was a big old graft but the first night we were there when the relationship was just brimming with these guys they went out and we wondered where the fuck they were so we were eating there right we were eating our bread and cheese and they turned up and no no lie about 30 domino's pizzas mm-hmm. for eight of us okay and the most dash thing i've ever seen they somehow got anchovies on the fucking domino's pizzas man uh surely they oh, could man. not anchovies uh, oh, no, i lovely. fucking love anchovies i don't th- i haven't i remember no. the only time i've tried anchovies it was when I was in school and I was over a girl's house and she liked them on a pizza and I wanted to impress her. And she was, I was like, oh, I'll have an anchovy. It's just, just a salty bit. fish. Man. I was going to say, it's, it's, it's just, fucking banging. Just, just a salty little fish. Like, I've ordered quadruple anchovies on my pizza before and it just sucked the moisture out of me. <laughs> give, me a fucking, give me an angle. <laughs> <laughs> fucking head was thumping. <laughs> but no, I often think about that gig uh, just because it was just. One of the first ones I ever did, I was green. Yeah. And like I just had pizza given to me, and these Dutch guys were really remarkable people. Okay. Because like I, just I the, generally like the Dutch. Yeah, same. It's just weird cultural things, isn't it? Because they're very direct. Mm. Very and nice, like, though. Very nice, very direct. And like being part of the British Isles, like our way of conversation, it is also very direct, but it's not. Very nasty and very indirect, we are. Yeah, like yeah, if someone's yeah. like asking me to do things, like you say, you know, you can fuck off. It's more like, oh, I'm not sure what I think about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just how I'm going to fuck off, basically. Um. But the, no, the, I think about those guys. They were really nice. They, yeah. they, one of my first experiences, um, one of the hardest ones I've ever done was Bestival. Have okay. you guys ever been there? I've never been. I almost. Fucking huge. Is there? Yeah, and we were pulling lampoons for 12 hours a day for five Fe- days. Is a lampoon different to a festoon? Yeah, I think a lampoon is something you hunt whales with, isn't it? That's a harpoon, you fucking <laughs> <laughs> And Fuck. lampoon is like National Lampoon's Christmas holiday. <laughs> I can't be like, fuck it up twice. <laughs> What's worse is you have me with a double whammy. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck, I, do you know what? If I just like... <laughs> Laughed it off. That would have been all right. <laughs> that, that, could, had me. that could have been a really well set up joke, or just an opportunity for you to look like a fucking moron. Yeah, and I went with a lot. Of, Jesus. Well, you, yeah, you, you, you played yourself. Just say you committed to the bit, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is an act. Yeah, it's we're not. Act. Act, we're not actually racist. <laughs> only, only Dan. <laughs> only Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only Dan's the true racist, sexist. Homophobic. Yeah, so fast tunes, boys. I've pulled nearly 100 kilometers of them with another two guys over the course of five days. That's squatting. disgusting. That's disgusting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but the end of my first day, I couldn't sit down. <laughs> <laughs> lie down. I had to like find like a weird thing where I was inviting someone to bum me. <laughs> <laughs> I had to lay in that position and just like, oh, I don't need this job, do I? <laughs> just put yourself in the stocks, just get comfy. Yeah, Pulling. yeah. Pulling the first, in. We had catering there, boys, and like the first fucking day, I had a big plate of food and like, I'm not, honest to God, like the flies assaulted it. They just landed in all oh, the sauce and I just fucking just continued. Died. <laughs> died in the sauce. I was so angry. I, <laughs> I, I would have ate the flies. The thing is, whenever I've worked festivals, I've worked it on the band side. So I have to do such little work, get paid a bit more money and still have, well, I have the benefits of all the cute little VIP areas and the fucking... Yeah, yeah, I was the fucking prot, I was. <laughs> you were the bougie, I was the prot. <laughs> nah, it's good, though, boys. Like, it's, it's harder than normal career work, I think, but it's yeah, more you'd, rewarding. You'd be he- well, that, combined with our HGH, we will be hench by, you know, by the time we finish the season. Yeah. <laughs> 
and have a good I time. Mind being a sca- I wouldn't mind being a scaffold at a festival or something like that. Yeah, you could build a stage, man. Fuck yeah. That, that would, you know, that would interest me. I'd enjoy doing something like that. The only problem with jobs like that is um, with fencing and scaffolding is you're always on call. So you've always got a radio on. At any time, you can get a call and say, something's fucked, you've got to go fix it. Yeah. Um, have you guys ever pulled power cables? Yes. Yeah, that's fucking hard work in festivals as well. Because I was short as fuck. They'd always make me go under the stage in the motor point to fucking pull the cables. Yeah, they, they did. Yeah, you're the cable guy under the stage. <laughs> I know. How fucking cruel is that? <laughs> oh, you're a little orbit, bro. A little power orbit. <laughs> Our Hobbit, <laughs> like a little shitty Lord of the Rings. Like, I remember, so, I remember someone shouting, saying like, "All right, need to pull the cables." And I looked at you, like, "Should we do it together?" And you looked at me and said, "Don't look at me, but I'm too tall." And just walked away. Go <laughs> <laughs> we'll find something else to do. <laughs> yeah, the pulling cables is the most fun because, like, I don't know, man, it just appeals to like fucking organizing shit. It feels awesome, doesn't it? Just see a big a pile of mess on the floor of like fucking big heavy cables. You're just like, oh, do some work. Oh, I'll get it, boys. <laughs> you are so autistic. <laughs> I'm going to make these cables look nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be clean, boys. The band won't like it otherwise. I need to restore order. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scott, you got any stories, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> Delve into the dark side of it, no? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to do it, Dan. You know I'm going to do it. What? The story about Simon. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Look at God. Simon. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oh, my God. That's so, the angriest I'd ever been at oh, a festival. I've never seen him again before. <laughs> We we literally we got to download 2019 was it? Then? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, last one. Yeah, it was 2000, 2019, and uh, one of our fr- one of our good mates had brought um, this friend with him from. Uh, I now know he's not Scottish; he's Northern Irish. <laughs> like Scottish is a bit uh, more violent. <laughs> A lot more fucking violent. You wait. You're in for a fucking laugh, Skip. <laughs> this guy now, right? We he came. We like sort of a little bit of a session our tent. So we're all in our tent drinking and you know doing things. And we look over to this guy, and he got the back of his phone now. He had like an iPhone 10 or something like that. So quite you know quite a long phone. And he was huffing corner to corner lines off it. <laughs> And I'm sat next to Nikki as I always am, and I'm like, fuck, I can fucking put some cocaine away, mate. So we're all chatting, and I'm, um, one of the boys turned to me and he said, that's not cocaine, man. He said, he's huffing care there. <laughs> and I was like, nah, no, f-. I was like, no fucking way. I was like, he is not huffing care. There's no way he can do that much care and still be sat there and Ooh. still string a sentence together. <laughs> But with that, he puts this big fucking line on the back of his phone, and yeah, he ends like, I like cocaine, can I have a line? <laughs> <laughs> this boy's like, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> and I handed it over to the and so Yayan gets on his knees, does it, and then goes, I smell cocaine. <laughs> and just instantly, like, fucking freaks himself out. <laughs> so two of the boys leave, leave the tent with Yayan to try and, like, bring him round. And this guy, this Simon, stands up in the tent, and that's at the first, the only time that I knew that it was kept is when he stood up and his knees buckled from underneath him. And he was a big guy, <laughs> wasn't he? Was like, a funny yeah, he was big, big guy. guy. Oh, he, he was, he was like, he was like fucking twenty-seven stone of autism. Mm. <laughs> He's just fucking, <laughs> just awful. To, he was awful to be around, man. He, he, he was speaking shit to everyone. He was just fucking. Yeah, he was. And he made a point then of of. Acting a fucking cunt in his tent and like wrecking our tent from the inside. So we said to him, you know, get fucked off out. Yeah, get and then he goes out. out and then he starts he starts steamrolling in these people's tents. He's because he can't fucking stand up. He's like pushing himself up off a floor, and as soon as he can get any leverage, he's rolling again. Ah, oh, man, that sounds terrible. So oh, and he's breaking people's tents. Yeah, we like and... oh. literally. We walked outside and like literally all you could see was like three flat tents. 
and one of them was a fucking TP before it started, and now it looked like a fucking top hat. <laughs> it was fucking like... What do the people say? The so, people. so one of them was our neighbours. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone had a fucking popper in, and it was the first time I've ever seen Dylan lose his rag with somebody in a festival, because normally it's like people will get in a state and Dill will like, right now, fucking chill out and calm down. Um, we just automatically realise you're being a dickhead and then you sit down, chill out, and then obviously come around and then be like, sorry guys, sorry guys, but this guy just carried on huffing yeah. head and taking pills and he making not an absolute fucking menace um, himself. No. So, I, oh. on the last night there, the last night there, I decided now that right, I'd been tidied this guy. I hadn't allowed him to come back in our tent, but I'd been tidy enough to say, all right, to him in passing and stuff. Can I tell you what fucking happened well, with me and him first, the night that he fucking wrecked all the tents? Go on. Just for context. So, this dickhead's fucking knobbing about wrecking all these fucking tents, being a real prick. He a real pain in the ass. He wasn't act, you know, he, he was off his nut on cat, so he could, he wasn't really fucking purposefully doing it, but he was just a fucking nightmare. Mm. So, so I was there fucking giving him a bollock and shouted at it. I was like, oh, fuck up now, you prick. Um, just sit in our chamber there, just sit there and stop being a fucking knob. Um, and he's there crying, begging. <laughs> Like, oh, Bill, <laughs> donate me, donate me, crying, fucking, oh. And it's just enraging me. It's like, shut the fuck up. And then he'd stop, reset the sec, and then just be like, so, is everyone having a good time? And it's like, no, we're not, you <laughs> fucking dickhead. <laughs> fuck up. And then he'd start crying again. And then, <laughs> donate me, Dill, please donate me. And then, then again, he'd be like, so... Everyone having a nice time. <laughs> oh, and at one point, I was trying to stop him fucking destroying all these heads, and he starts moving towards me with his hands out like a giant fucking baby that can't control himself. And he's just falling towards me, and he puts one hand on my chest and one finger in my eye. Oh, oh. No way! Yeah, man. And it's like, fuck you. And I slung him on the floor. And I genuinely thought, I might just knock him out here. And then go to security and say, this guy got beaten up. Go take him to medical. Because we don't know who he is. But I was very much at the end of my tether. <laughs> Carry on, Scott. Yeah, well, uh, it'd come to, the, like, the last day, the Sunday, and we'd all, we'd finished watching all the bands that we wanted to see, yeah. so we headed back to the campsite, and I said, right, last night, everyone in our tent, we're going to have, a, you know, a, big a farewell, because old... yeah. at, at the time, we only seen each other, like, yearly, or mm. six monthly, maybe. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people at that festival that we didn't, yeah, we only saw at that festival. So I was like, everyone back in our tent, we're all going to have a, a bit of a shindig. So we're walking down, and I could see the top of our tent moving as if somebody's already in it. And I'm like, no. hang on. I don't like people put, I don't like people rummaging through my tent anyway, but I could see that. Well, no, because so you just think someone's Nick, stealing your shit. Yeah, so me and Nicky put a bit of pace on to get there. And it was this fucking Simon boy who was just like, stood in the middle of a fucking tent, didn't know where he was. So I was like, oh, just leave him stay, sit him in our corner and just leave him fucking fest out of himself. Like, so he, he was like sat in the corner and he's like, ah, oh, I'm not doing anything tonight. I've made a fucking fool of myself this weekend and I'm not, you know, I'm not doing it anymore. He's like, I just want to apologise to everyone. And by this time, I'd had an absolute fuck full and probably, I don't know, five, six grams of speed in. <laughs> and I had probably this, the same amount of cocaine. So I'm like mixing these fucking drugs, like they commercial, <laughs> and just like having fun with them. And all of a sudden, this thing takes over me. I don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> and I become the most evil person. The spirit ever. of my boy. You were you were just sped in, like, yeah, <laughs> sped into the world. I was I was lit. 
I was literally in, I was at his fucking throat the whole time. <laughs> so we were sat there and I was like, right. I said, it's something I wanted to ask you all weekend. I said, what part of fucking Scotland are you from? <laughs> so he said, like, oh, man, man, I'm not Northern, I'm not Scottish, I'm Northern Irish. I was like, Northern Irish. I was like, so, you know, do your parents touch kids or are they the car bombing fucks? <laughs> <laughs> and as I said, yeah, in, in my head, I'm like, nah, stop, like, just laugh it off. Put your body fucks I just keep over. going at it. I just Fuck kept yeah. going at it, literally. He was like, it was like, like a, laughing it off. It was, was like, like, it was like a pit bull with a baby. It was fucking gorgeous. It was. <laughs> it was like, yeah. He, was... he tried, he tried laughing it off, and he tried changing the subject. And I'm like, no, you ain't answered my fucking question. I was like, did your parents teach you how to make letter bombs, or did they teach you how to fucking lube kids up? <laughs> I literally at it to the point where I sat there and I went, I am fucking so sorry. I don't know where this is coming from. And I took a mislead. I'm like. Why are you in my tent, you fucking overgrown cunt? Get up there. Overgrown cunt. Fuck it up. Fuck. Do you remember, Liam, one of the first times we met when mm. fucking um, Polly was trying to defend you? Yeah. yeah. I was saying all these fucking horrible things I was going to do to you and how much fun we were going to have. Yeah. Was it, what, where was it? You said he was going to, like, fill me with speed just using the booze or something like that. <laughs> No. I wouldn't say something like that. <laughs> I, was, I was enjoying it. I was like, oh, okay. Mm. And then Polly came in, like, don't you talk to him like that? Well, I, I, I knew you were joking. She was like, oh, didn't you fucking talk to him? And I was like, ah, uh, Polly, like, ma'am. Shut up, Polly. Get out of here. <laughs> She's an interesting You suck one. dick like you suck the life out of everything you do. <laughs> 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 I cut this out, right? But she. she she blocked me off Facebook like ages ago. She was like talking about I don't know, she told my art or something. Anyway, I don't even know what it was about. And I kept sharing like loads of photos, like paintings. She's like reacting at them and I was like, that was a fucking done by Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was you talking know. about like, then you realize uh, that I got a double art emoji in there. <laughs> yeah, Maybe it was something to do with like I, I fuck knows by it's like but something to do with like no redeeming quality and racist or anything. We actually liked his art, so I was just like, but Chrissy, I'm <laughs> officially back in a relationship with that dickhead Aaron. Oh. Never. Yeah. yeah. Facial melody. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Man. She will not learn. Should I comment? Just cringe. What? Should I just what comment? Happened, didn't do it. Do it and screenshot it. it for proof. What happened to me? I didn't. I didn't even know what happened. Oh, should I do it? <laughs> do it. Oh, I'm not brave enough. I don't want to upset. Yeah, what, what happened with those two? I, I don't know. Well, they broke up because he's a piece of shit, but... The way he speaks to her, the way he treats her, he's a fucking absolute asshole. I'd love to get my hands on him. <laughs> I'll post cringe if the rest of us post cringe. Go on, but screenshots or why is put in the, uh, in the chat, like... Are you, are you doing this for me, Scott? Congratulations, bro, is the first comment on it. No. No, not congratulations. No. <laughs> no, it's all cringe. No, I ain't doing it all. I don't know. I don't know. If I had a couple of drinks in here, I would, but I'm not Oh, Dylan, it. do it, but you big yourself up. Go on. No, fuck off. We'll talk about <laughs> something else. Oh, fuck. Any other festival stories we got, then? Fucking hell. Um... <laughs> I got to be the first festival I went to because the first one I went to was uh, Rain and Leeds in 2017. Okay. And the fucking, I, I was like, because this is the first major festival I've been to. Mm. I didn't realize how far away the campsite was like, from the car park and stuff. Yeah. It took us an hour to get from the car park to where we were camping. Fuck it out. Yeah, uh, bro. What was it? What was it? Late, late August, blistering heat as well. <laughs> right. Black t shirt on as well. I was fucking dying. So we got got to the camps, we got got to where we were because um, people went up like the day before us. Yeah. So they saved us a spot from that. I was, I was like trying to set up my tent. I asked one of the boys to give me an hand because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Yeah. So like, he comes over, starts giving me an hand, calls his friend over. Those two start building, building my tent. I'm just standing here. <laughs> so, guy comes, so, so when the boys comes over, he's like, do, do you want to be a bomb? It's like, oh, fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. This, 
True. This this weekend, our little camping trip is going to be fucking class. We got something planned for you, lot. Oh, you wild cat. What are you all about? Ooh. Me and uh, me and Nikki have thought now. We've messaged the campsite that we go into. Yeah. Asked them if it's all right for us to put the van in. And yeah. they said, yeah, no problem whatsoever. So we've got two massive tarpaulins as well now. In like fucking five by five meter, two of them. And we're going to set them out off the back of the van. So it's just like one big fucking session. Oh, fuck yes. Oh. That's naughty. So if you haven't got a tent, you haven't even got to bring a tent because you got shelter. Yeah, but I would. Well, yeah, we can all just sleep together communally. Body. I'm just gonna smash my. I'm gonna put a chair. I'm gonna put a chair out, put a sleeping bag around me, and if I fall asleep, fall asleep. If I don't, I don't. Oh, that's a good <laughs> shout. That is. That is a good shout. Um, wonderful. I've I've ordered an hammock as well, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna string it from? Just have two of the boys standing there with they run their necks, is it? Come on, boys! <laughs> it's this time to swap. I've been on that growth to put one one end off my dick, and it. Fucking hell! All right, well. Oh, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping it plans out the way that we've like sort of envisaged in our head, but it fucking never does. So no, it's gonna I, be a mess. I'm sure it'll be all right though. Um, oh, are you coming over mine for pre's Friday? If I can, I'm not sure what's happening with the kids yet. As soon as I got confirmation whether they can be like locked up and more not, I'll, uh, I'll let Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think we'll. I'm, wait, talk- I'm waiting for the boarding house to get back to me. <laughs> <laughs> back. Oh, uh, will we record another episode the day after on the Sunday? I think we should. We should. We should. We'll have a lot to talk about after that weekend, won't we? <laughs> yes. The day after might be a bit soon, though. We'll see. We'll see how we feel Sunday. We might be fucking mooling. It's the best bit of content we'll have, look. Yeah. Fresh true. stories in your mind, man. Yeah. Fresh yeah. conversations, fresh stories. You haven't slept in three days. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad habit of mine at festivals. I first did it download 2018, I think, where I stayed awake for four days in a row. I can't yeah, remember. I managed to do three, day, three days. Yeah, three days. And after three days, I was like, I got to do something, man. I got to yeah. have a fucking just 10 minutes or something. Like, <laughs> I, The last time I did it, I was so mentally unwell. After four days awake, oh my fucking God. I remember naked, squatting at the front of my tent, thinking, <laughs> they're fucking talking about me. <laughs> they're fucking talking about me. I can hear them fucking talking about me. And then Sanity would come back and be like, go to sleep, Dill. Get in your sleeping bag and have some sleep so you can watch some bands tomorrow. And then it's like, oh, they're fucking talking about me, the bastards. <laughs> Just drunken fucking Just in, insanity. So I didn't sleep. And then I managed to sleep through like six of the bands I wanted to see Sunday. And it's like, oh, fucking wicked. <laughs> you remember that week or? No, I can't remember any of it. <laughs> that was literally the Wednesday when we got picked up on the bus. We had an ounce of speed. <laughs> we got all th- we got through all that by the Saturday. <laughs> oh. I had a bunch of my own as well. So, ah. uh, that's what I mean. We had we had a fucking lot, man. It was <laughs> no <laughs> way you had a hefty amount. There's no way we weren't living on our fucking paranoia for that. You know, for the next few days. <laughs> I was I was in a really bad <laughs> mental place as well. I fucking lost my voice, didn't I? After like three days of being awake. Yeah, yeah on, on the Saturday. Voice you, gone. Lost voice completely. <laughs> the voice completely gone. So I, yeah. I had to talk by writing notes on, on the notepad <laughs> on my phone. On your phone yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, do you remember when? Adam's friends, a girl and her parents, fucking um, um, Molly, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> came, up, <laughs> came up to me and they were like, "Oh, you Dylan here?" I'm like, "Yeah." They were like, "Oh, have you lost your voice having too much fun?" Is it? I was like, "Throat cancer." <laughs> and they were just like, "I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry." I'm like, "It's okay. It just hurts to talk." And they were like, "Oh, okay." okay. <laughs> 
And then they walked <laughs> away. Did leave him alone now? They didn't speak yeah. to you for the rest of the no, fucking day. No. They walked away <laughs> to talk to everyone else, and all I heard was Adam shout, he doesn't have fucking throat cancer, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I've been rumbled. <laughs> <laughs> I've been found out. <laughs> I was hoping I could get some free drinks out of it. All I can remember is like a, <laughs> the girl who was saying, like, a, why would you say that? Because <laughs> can't talk. <laughs> Funny or it? Yeah, that was so, so <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay. Oh, funny, man. Like proper pressing press in when you were talking as well. It's funny as well. Yeah. Oh, man, I had to, like, tense my fucking diaphragm to talk, to s- just say words, like... <laughs> Fun, though. It was a fucking great time. I fucking... <laughs> but, yeah, next time now, I am not fucking staying awake for longer than two days. That's a good decision. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Um... Fucking hell, any more stories, the lads? Well, then you know we don't come. Ah. I think I, I think I'm out, man. I had literally three festivals. I've been three times I've been to a festival and three times I've been with him, so. <laughs> you have to come to all my festivals now. You'd have to start travelling with me and doing the European ones and that. Fuck your family. I'm your family now. I really, <laughs> I really want to do European ones, man. Fuck yeah. I, mean, I really want to do those. I next really year. want to... Yeah, fucking next year. Why don't we do just pick one? And it's not much more expensive than fucking going download because mm. the tickets to download are so expensive. Mm. Hell, first of all, you do it. Honest, you're, you're, gar- you're guaranteed the weather as well, really, you know? No, yeah. not at all. <laughs> you're guaranteed weather wherever you go, really, but if you're outside, you are guaranteed <laughs> some sort of weather. Yeah, but rain got stuff in, so. <laughs> rain does, in fact, have stuff in it. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing like a like Hellfest because that's always got a ridiculously good lineup. It sells out so fast, though. Yeah, it does. It sells out like within within like a month. Yeah. What's this, um? There's what's the one? In there's a couple in Germany, aren't there? There are a couple of good ones in Bakken, Germany. Bakken, well, that's, yeah. That's the main one. And open air. And rock mm. rock a, 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 a m a m ring rock yeah rock rock, rock am ring rock am a okay. m ring yeah. Ah, uh, fucking hell. I for, mm, you boys join in for the next episode as well. Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Play by you, man. Yeah, yeah, see what happens. Well we got we got the rest. Um we'll do some more fucking stories. Any more stories then boys? Because well, fuck... well, this one isn't so much a festival. It was a mini festival in England, man. Uh, yeah. you know, you guys know Clark? I'm sure he wouldn't mind me telling a story about him because it is legendary. Oh, yeah, that can't... man that man is crust punk just yeah. in the flesh. <laughs> no, no, I'm not even fucking bullshitting, guys. Like you don't you've never seen a man take nips out of ashtray and oh, spoons. Oh fuck it up. No, no. He was like, oh, crispy nip spice. <laughs> the the, the boss had come over and took the ashtray off it, but he's like, no, I'm not done with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a pro, man. It was him and George. We were we were staying in a hotel room together. Yeah, and we were going to sleep, and and George was just drinking uh, some some just a little glass of vodka before sleep. And we that we dared him to down the bottle, and he did, man. He fucking we stayed up for hours watching him just go to bits of hell. <laughs> he spoke. I, I'll find the videos, boys. I'll send them into the group chat. I found them like, when, I re- when I was doing the research. Um, yeah. So he spewed all over, <laughs> spewed all over the floor. In this hotel. He was kind of funny, like he was kind of shit as well. Uh. And Clark, being an absolute boy, he picked up picked up the sick and threw it out the window. <laughs> but but <laughs> we were on the first floor, <laughs> and <laughs> we had extended out. <laughs> It just landed on the fucking roof and it was baking and the, the guy found out, man, he played fuck. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and I got the video of uh, him uh, playing fuck with Jordan. Jordan's like, uh, sorry, but, you know, I was unwell. <laughs> oh, he was like, you should have just said. <laughs> no, that was the same same gig I seen two girls kissing and necking. Good for you, Skip. That sounds like a nice day in work. Oh, it was, man. <laughs> <laughs> Best day in work. <laughs> Fucking, uh... I nearly got kicked off that gig as well. Go on, how'd that happen? Well, uh, the fucking stage manager, we were unloading a van, and I was pushing him up the ramp, sick. 
Mm. I put to the thingy because it was a big fucking ramp as well. Yeah. But everyone I brought up, he was checking the sheet. He was like, uh, no, that, no, 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 I was going downstairs. So I had to move it down the ramp and down another ramp. And I got to like the fourth one and I said, are you just going to come down and check the fucking sheet down there? Yeah. I'm pushing these up by myself. And he was like, you don't talk to me like that. I'm the stage manager. I can get you kicked off. I was like, fuck it, do it. <laughs> Kick me off, then. No, no other fuckers pushing these boxes up here. Yeah? yeah, fucking do it, I said. And then afterwards, though, after that, we kind of became quite good friends. Like, <laughs> I say that. You pro- fucking... say that. I say we became good friends, but he put a complaint in about me. Did he? <laughs> fucking yeah. loser. <laughs> Spoke to you tightly for the fucking double time you're there, and as soon as you leave, and he's like, yep, "Yeah, oh man, that's the that's the law." Like you got shit fucking to a manager's. Like there was that gig. Um, one of the boys was with us as well, and he caused a few thousand pounds worth of damage. <laughs> he was uh, <laughs> he was using a pickle on a mortar. <laughs> yeah, oh, which is like um, it controls the mortars to like lift up trust and stuff. You know how you get all the stuff in the air at festivals? Yeah. It's these motors that control them. Yeah, they look like pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's where the name comes from. I think if you Google pickle motor controller, it'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, so he was doing this. Um, the mo- you know, the motor was raising, lifting the trust up in the air, and someone come up and distracted him. Yeah. And all you do is cluck, 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 cluck. The fucking mortar that swallowed the pickle. <laughs> oh, and the lead tech, who was also that he came over, he goes, What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck have you done? <laughs> what the fuck have you done? And he goes, I can't even tell her that you did it. They were caught, they were saying, Why? Why are you trusting newbie with a pickle? <laughs> you fucking <laughs> So he had to tell people that he did it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna cost thousands. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking moron! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't even tell anyone you did it. I, uh, uh, Why well, you trusting newbie with a pickle? <laughs> with the pickle. Pickle. Oh, we need to do we need to do more accents on this podcast. Really. <laughs> that's fucking tickled me. He was having a panic attack from <laughs> the hyperventilating Dutchman, like. Yeah. Carl, <laughs> was <laughs> <trying to explain. laughs> Carl was trying to explain it to him. <laughs> and the guy oh, goes, no, Chris. no, no, don't bother you, you're fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, fuck, I got a story about a Dutchman. Fucking, yeah, Netherlands. Dutch people are from the Netherlands, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't think they're kind of antsy about that. I don't know, I don't know oh. which one is which. Is it Holland? Is the Netherlands oh. Holland? Oh, the ne- oh, fuck, I don't know. What, where's, it, where's Amsterdam in Holland? Netherlands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> um, and it, yeah, well, so this is this guy, Appy. And I've worked touring with him loads. He's a fucking wonderful guy. Love him to bits. Um, he's fantastic. But he's just his, his name is Happy, like Happy. And he is a nice guy. He's a badass biker guy. You know, he looks tough as fuck. Um, but he's fantastically polite. He's wonderful. He's hard worker. Great guy. Um, it was after a festival. I can't remember where. But we were drinking in the hotel lobby. It was a really nice lobby. They let us drink there. And it was great because we were just sat there drinking the booze from our rider because the bar wasn't open. And then these other bands were coming in, staying in the same hotel, and were either sitting down and drinking with us or if they'd had enough of fucking drinking, just leaving their drinks with us so we could drink it. We are having a fucking great night. Um... Appy was quite stressed out because his wife at the time was doing the merch and had misplaced all of the merch money. It was like a couple couple grand in an envelope. And so they checked the bus. They checked the room. He's pissed off because he knows he's going to have to come out of his money. She's borderline in tears because she just lost a bunch of fucking cash. So it was fucking horrible. I go into the disabled toilets to have a pee, put the seat down, and there is this fucking envelope of money on the fucking back of the toilet. I'm like, 
I am a fucking legend. So I didn't tell him about the money, and I had two grand in my pocket, so that was fucking amazing. Um, uh, but the night ends, and the guy working the front desk at the hotel, he was just very clearly just aspergic or autistic or Dutch or something. There was something wrong with him. <laughs> um, but he, he just, um, he, uh, he couldn't handle the situation. You know, there were too many people and everything he, was, <laughs> everything he was saying was coming across rude. Um, and he was saying like, oh, well, I hope you clean up after yourselves when you go. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. We'll chuck stuff in the bin. Um, and Appy was like, oh, we're, we're paying to stay here. We're paying to stay here. Why, why do we have to clean up? Um, <laughs> and it's like, come on, man. It's all right. But he's there for it. He really fucking rubbed it in the wrong way. But he was wasted. <laughs> I clean up almost everything. I didn't notice by the side of a chair was a, like half a bottle of wine and like six wine glasses. <laughs> and I was getting in the lift with Appy. I'd got him in the lift. And just as the doors were closing, the fucking guy at the front desk goes, oh, you missed this and picked up the bottle. Abby storms out of the lift. It's like, oh, fuck, you know. And just starts picking up the wine glasses and throwing them at him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, here you go. Here you go. I'm cleaning up. I'm cleaning up. <laughs> Fucking, they're exploding on the wall behind him. And the guy's like, you don't have to do this. <laughs> and Abby's like, watching like, no. two Sims of it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's like, Belted these glasses at him. I'm like, fuck it out. Go on up. And then he picks up the wine bottle. And I'm like, oh, this could hopefully he'll miss. Because there was no way I was sober enough to move in time and get there. But he threw the bottle and it kind of just exploded on the wall. I ushered him into the lift and put him away for the night. I was like, okay. And I was sharing a room with the drummer that night. Um, it was the first time I'd met him. And... He'd fucking, he claimed that he could outdrink me earlier in the night. I was like, all right, but we'll fucking see. I get, I, get, I get into the bedroom. He's fucking pissed over pretty much the entire bathroom. <laughs> and he's passed out. It's, it was two single beds put together with the sheets over them. And it's like, uh, and he's passed out right in the middle. And I'm like, there's no way I'm sharing a bed with this guy. So I start untucking the sheets, and then when I finally, like, pull out the elasticated sheet, the beds shoot apart, and he fucking hits the floor, skull first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, like, he really whacked his fucking skull on the floor. And I'm there looking over at him, like, you all right? You all right? Oh, I'll sure he'll be all right. I fucking have a kip in the fucking bed. Wake up in the morning, I go down and have breakfast. He's in the fucking two of us telling stories about how I'd pissed over the entire bathroom. It's like, what the fuck, you cheeky cunt? But that's the thing, though. If you get there first, you get to tell the story. Yeah, that was like a weirdly difficult conclusion to a story. I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> it, it was like it was all fucking leading up to something. Yeah. So. Uh, I I should have fucking climaxed it with him smashing the bottles. Maybe I'll just cut it there. <laughs> oh, the guy smashing the skull on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I might cut see. it. You get there first, you tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to do a festival over that skit. Yeah, you have yeah, to. Yeah, man. Definitely. Got to do definitely, it, definitely. <laughs> you will see another okay, side which one it is. Go and watch Venga Boys or something. <laughs> Give a fuck. Oh man, I want to. I want to see Scooter and all that. But I bet that fucking thing sold out, doesn't it? Well, is this still on? When does it do? I don't know. Yeah. Probably tomorrow. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it July is when it was. Oh, was it July? That, that that's doable. I oh, want to go on holiday. I want to go on holiday somewhere in July if it's possible because I got two weeks booked off for metal days. I just want to fuck off somewhere. <laughs> Let's fuck off to Poland for a bit, then. Yeah. 
somewhere that's allowing travel, but we'll see what's going on. All right, does anyone have any it's... final stories? Because we'll call this at fucking 10. Nah, I'm out of stories, man. <laughs> we, we, co- we covered pretty much all the festivals I've been to, which is downloaded three times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, though, that's fucking... What Hellfest is goes around June, July time, don't it? Hellfest is June, I think. I'll look it up now. Yeah, well, next year, let's get on early, boys. Let's fucking go. Yeah, you have to, it'll take one of us to book it, and you have to book it the fucking day that it comes up. But yeah. it's doable. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like stupidly fast Hellfest and all that. How much are the tickets at? It's five days, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably about 200 quid around those. It's 17th, 18th, and 19th of June. And we'll That's want to right. go a day either side of that, don't we, as well? Yeah, yeah. easily, easily. Or maybe yeah. two days. I mean, but two days before. Two days after, yeah, definitely. And just have, like, a travel stop over day in fucking, uh, what's it called, Amsterdam or something. Okay, boys, I'm up for that, because it's next year. I can fucking, that's easy to plan around with a kid and all that, so you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'll, uh, you know, we coming up to it, like, Dale, because you're the master of booking tickets, but we'll just chuck you money beforehand, and if you can get them, you can get them. If not, then you just transfer it back. Thank you for just totally fucking... Pa- yeah, passing that on me. Oh, oh yeah, man. I'm gonna fucking do it. You do it. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Yeah, well, why didn't you come camping with us this weekend coming up, Skit? Oh, but I can't. I'm short sure. working nights and I Well, you can have a day off, so you got fucking swollen lymph nodes. I don't know, is it this this weekend? Is this the yeah. weekend? Yeah, this uh, weekend, weekend come in. Ah. Oh. I think I'm working. Poor, but we told you about this for plenty of excuses. Tell them the plastics gave a new cancer and you got to have a day off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it forces us to take a fucking weekend off this weekend because uh, the glue hasn't been delivered from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, fuck you guys. Go take your holidays. Yeah. Oh, they made you take holidays, did they? Cheeky or, or we could take them unpaid, like. Uh, well, fucking smell I- yours. Anyway, enough there's, about no the gl- hmm? there's no glue here this weekend because our switch has been closed. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Edit that in the front, right? Yeah. D- <laughs> <laughs> front loaded with that. All right. <laughs> That's like no fucking... context. So you'll cut there, right? Cut there. Do we tell a story instead of having that punchline? You get there first. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> said that, there's no glue this weekend <laughs> so we got there and you didn't say it <laughs> <laughs> that's when I realised I'm giving brain damage <laughs> <laughs>